Hello everybody, welcome back to Making Richie Rich. So you might see behind me here, we've got something that's completely different again on this channel that I've never done. And it's where I've been for the last sort of week, sort of just stuck into this um, piece of software. Now, what it is is called QBot, and I'll have the link down below. Um, it's an affiliate link, so if you sign up, you'll be helping me out. But I am addicted to this thing. Now, if you've been watching my most recent videos, you will see that I've been um, working on dice strategies, and I was in the middle of doing a challenge, but um, the challenge was going fine. I actually just got hooked on this software. <laughs> I forgot all about the challenges. Um, every day I've kind of just been out playing with this. Um, so, basically what it is, Cubot, it's, it's a software that, one, the main part of this is what I love. It allows you to simulate, okay? So you can see all these uh, original games and it works in stake, shuffle, there's quite a few other casinos there. I'm on shuffle, so that's who I'm working with. But you've got all these games, so you've got blackjack, crash, dice, tar, high lows, um, and then you've even got code mode over here as well. Now what that allows you to do is go in and code more, which is over my head completely, but um, Qbot, what they do have actually in the Discord group when you sign up is there is already strats there that people have already coded and worked on and are still working on. Um, so it's quite good to get in and start with straight away. But the main thing is I have been playing with Dice. That's the one I've been loving. Um, and I've been using this software to wager over the last week. Um, this is my second account. Um, and I'm now building it up towards silver. I've already got one that's on silver, but I have this one as well. Just so I could test this stuff out on. Um, let me see, where do we start? Okay, I'll start with the one that I'm working on in my Discord group. Um, it's the same one that's sort of been in the previous videos on Dice. And again, I'm just allows me to test it more. Gave me an idea of what we're doing. But first of all, we'll go and we'll have a look. We'll have a look around here to see what it's like. So, if we go into tower, tower, tower. It's very Northern Irish thing to say. Um, you can go in and you can select all your parameters, right? You can set your balance over here. So, we click on that. There's your play balance, it's just for fun. So say we've got 100 there, um, we can do that. Or up here, we just hit this. Now, before I even get into anything else, the best part of this software that I like is see here, um, I don't know if you can see my wee mouse up there or not. Um, how am I gonna work this out to see if you can see what I'm seeing? I don't think you can, damn it. But at the top right, um, hopefully you'll see when I hover over it. It tells you VIP progress, bronze three. It tells you what you need to wager. Because before I was trying to figure out what I need to do to get to the next levels, this tells you exactly how much you need to wager to get to the next level. And that's what I love about this. But anyway, um, that's that. Hopefully you were able to see that. Okay, because I can't see. Um. What you can do, you can go in here, um, you can set up what you want to do, your bet amount, say not point, not, not one, um, and just say we want to go on here and we want to, we're going to do this here, okay, um, we'll put on, I don't know, say 5% on a loss, tells us even here our max losing streak, so you can lose 197, calculates it all out for you, brilliant. Now, that's just bare basic, right? Just bare basic. So, um, you can get up where we graft over here on the side. Again, what I love about this is I can turn the graph on here as well. But all the other information, it gives you how much you've wagered, how quick it's betting for you, your highest loss, the max drawdown, which is important because it allows you to see right, how much of a balance do I need to place that bet, like how far has it went. Um, and then uh, what uh, again I love about it is it will automatically fault for you so say if we're on the strategy and you get to your desired profit you can bank that it'll put it into the bank for you and then keep going so it's only basically betting with the casino's money then from that point onwards um, I can't bomb and blow this software enough like I have uh, I have been glued to this. I'm going to show you some of the strategies I've been working on. We'll start this we one just to give you an idea. Um, there's a graph there. So we're not doing too well at the moment. 
Come on, a few ends there. Come on. Nope, nope, we're not doing it. Oh, well. So what you would do, you can look at that right, and say, right, I'm not making profit. What do I maybe need to do? Do I maybe need to increase my... Um, how much I'm betting. So we'll try that. Go up 10%. There you go. We're starting to see a bit of a climb. And you can just do this. You can work on things. Tweak it constantly. Um, which is what I was doing. And, and just look at that big dip there. Oof. So we're down 32p. But again, you're, you know, it's just testing. It doesn't matter. Um, what I actually like in this one is if we go... Let me see... We're going to try that with a 1% increase. Um, reset our bank, reset our graft, and start. There we go. Oh, some big losses there. Still up in the green. Doing well. And that's a 15x multiplier. Now what we could do there is say, right, I'm I'm staying on this for too long. <laughs> I don't even I've played a wee bit of the tower but uh wafer tower, but I haven't really messed around with it too much. Um look if we put that up to three percent, I'll start climbing a bit more. Oh, I'm right down. Come on, climb back up. Anyway, you get the drift. You can go in here, you can do all this. Um there's you can uh, spit it out. <coughs> you can deposit your profits. You can set that all up in there, and there's loads of conditions. Right, let's go back and turn off the graph here. Um, code mode. If anybody wants to see that, these are some strategies I've got before, um, and you can set it all up in there if you know what you're doing. It's actually not too bad. Some of it where you can just set your own um, your balance and stuff. So if I hit, for example, turtle run here. Turn on the graph. It's just busting on us. Oh, well. Um, but you can go in and you can change all that around. I haven't messed around with code mode, code mode too much. Um, like I have these strategies added in. I played around a wee bit. There was a wagering one that was um, quite good. If I reset the balance of 300, set start on that. And it's just all about wagering. As you can see, um, and that's it. So that's no point in looking at it, right? Okay, so where are we at? Okay, so this is the main one that I have been testing this for the last week, um, and in my Discord, I'm working on it. I've done it twice, I think. Now it's the third time running, where I'm getting it up to around ten million bets at the minute. It's at one million. Is that right? Yep, I had to doubt myself, 1 million bets there. So, to see what the highest bet we're going to need, roughly. The most it's got to you is 19 losses in a row. It's not to say it can't go higher at any time, but I'm running the simulation over and over to give me an idea. And I can say, right, well, I know in my testing, in over 20 million bets, 30 million bets, it only went to 19 a handful of times. So I can say safe, right? I need a max drawdown of eighty-eight pound there, roughly. So I need a hundred, sorry, pounds or dollars. I need a hundred dollars to have a bankroll to run this because it won't go any higher than that. And then if it does and it busts, then I know it's just really, really unlucky. And you can get really, really unlucky. And that's what I like about this. I'm because before I was testing everything live. And these, this is starting at not point not not one, okay, um, and this is how far we're going in the strategy. Nineteen losses in a row, and highest bet was seventy dollars, max was eighty eight drawdown. I think that's what that means. Or else I'm working this all out wrong. But I'm assuming the max drawdown is from, you know, how far you went down in that bet sequence, and how much your losses. So. If I'm going to run this strategy, um, again, I'm looking over here, profit and hours, $3.11 um, for the day, 74. Now, 
Some people say you shouldn't run them for a long period of time. You know, that's what I'm going to be working out. Um, but again, it's allowing me to test these strategies without going on and risking, you know, serious money just because some guy on YouTube saying, oh, it works, it's great, go do it. And then you're pouring all your money into it and then it busts. I'm not going to tell you to do that. If I'm, and people have been asking me in my last videos, you know, what is your strategy? And I'm not refilling it, not because um, I'm being secretive and I want to make all the money. It's got nothing to do with that. It's because I want to make sure I'm comfortable and I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and show you me actually running it before I say, hey guys, yeah, jump on and do this, you can make money. Just because you've seen, you know, a minute video of me running a strategy and it makes it makes money. I want to try and show you something that's working with a bit of longevity to it. Again, you know, it's gambling. You know, you have to take your risks. But And I'm just, the way I like to do things is kind of, you know, work it out as best I can so we know what the exact risks are going to be and if we're that unlucky that it does go to 20 or 21 you know it's just an off day you just have to take it on the chin but at least I know if I've done all these simulations and it's showing me right well you know it should you know in theory it shouldn't go that far but we'll know when we start going live with it so this is one strategy okay this is the second one now the difference is this is at not point not not five the other one was not point not not one. It hasn't reached the oh where did it go? Oh, I'm on the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> um, it hasn't done nineteen bets. Hasn't lo lost nineteen times in a row. Sorry, it's only done seventeen. But look at the difference. The highest bet there was one oh nine, and the max drawdown was one hundred thirty six. So already we're looking at at least one hundred fifty two hundred pound bank to run it at the not point not not five. Now, I know because I ran this up to thirty million at not point not five that it needs at nineteen, I think it was about four hundred and fifty was the, the max drawdown. So you were needing at least a five hundred dollar bankroll to possibly run this at not point not not five. But here's the difference. Ninety six pounds profit on this one compared to if we look back to the dollar one, thirteen pound forty nine. But the risk is a lot, lot lower. So you won't, you won't need as big a bank roller on this. You know, you can run this, well, as you can tell actually, you know, times five, you're gonna need 500 this year, you'll need 100. There's your difference, okay? Um, so I'm testing this all out. Um, another one here I've got, I'm currently testing, is, is this the right one? There we go, that's it. I'm not gonna do the losses, massive, but look at the profit. So this one, I'm quite liking. It's a new one, um, so I'm still very, very, I think this is the second run I've done on this one. Um, where it's more about, you get more losses than wins. It's the opposite way around on this. Um, the highest bet was $10, max drawdown 90. So already with a $100 bank there, I needed it at least. But, and the highest streak is 82. Um, but the profit is two hundred and thirty dollars. So, and this is at not point not not one it's running at. Um, we can maybe decrease that down a bit lower. We're still working out how that all works. Again, if running this, you could maybe start at a hundred. Once you get your bank back, you fold it. You go again. You can let it run and run and run. Keep building that bank up. Um, one, you let it bust and lose it all, but it's cost you nothing. Or you're just going to keep building up that bank and just keep slowly then taking money out. And that's all new things I'm going to be looking at and, and trying to work out once we go live. Um, and then the third one, and that is the third one, sorry. And then there's this one. This is a one used for wagering. Now, for people out there who have no idea what this is about and you're coming here, this video from other videos that I've done, um... The reason why I've changed over to crypto casinos and stuff was one, the VIP levels, and I see a lot of people making good money off these because each month they get a weekly bonus and a monthly bonus that they give you back, which normal casinos, especially here in the UK, they don't. Sometimes they'll give you a one pound free bet or you know five pound free bet at most, but here, like already, I have got, I think I've made about forty, fifty dollars. And I'm low-key already. 
and I'm getting that kind of bonuses back. And that's just money then you can use to put towards another strategy um, to work on. Um, so why I'm talking about that is this strategy here is called the wagering one. Now, I have only minus 45 cents, but it's wagered 45 pounds already. Now, it's a good way to go. Um, I think if I go over and look, I um 837 I would need to wager. So, you know, we keep that in that run. It's roughly doing 10 times sort of what's lost. So it's lost 45 or 100 times actually because, yeah, so 46. So, you know, if I had $10 there, I could wager 1,000 and that maybe, there you go, that would get me up there. But just to get the next levels. So these are quite good. It's just one I'm working on at the moment. Um, it's, a, it's a bit more aggressive, like a 1,000. I think it's 1,000. One no, is it? 100,000% increase on losses. So I've seen a few online um, from forums and other YouTube videos. So I bring them in here and I mess with them and I, I tweak them out um, and try and just see right what's working best. But... Where are we at? Um, OBS, go back up and to our main screen. But yes, this is QBot. Um, as I said, the link will be down below. Um, I think it's about $35 a month. Um, but it's worth it for me anyway because I was going on testing strategies for live and then, you know, burning free, you know, 10, 20 pounds, 20 dollars banks on you know trying to test stuff out this way it's a one off fee but you can test these strategies out for yourself instead of having to go on live and do it that's the biggest selling point it was for me uh, plus all the extra perks that come with it like all this data here that you just don't get like if I go on to the casino shuffle casino or anything like that now I don't get all this data all I get is wins and losses this is telling me everything the RTP you know, how much you're roughly going to make in an hour, um, a day, a week, running these things. Um, some people say not to run them for that long. Um, I'll find out. That's what I'm going to do. That's why I'm doing, doing all this testing. And then I'm going to go live. I'll have that bankroll in. And then we'll we'll have a go at it and see. And if it works, you know, I'll gladly I'll be um, happy to share some of the strategies that I'm working on. But again, until I am comfortable with it, I'm not for sharing them. But look, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, as I said, it's been something different. And I've said it about five times already. I'm in love with it. <laughs> it's uh, It's been better than playing games. Uh, I've just been on every day just like tinkering. Or I'm going to try this, try this, try that. Um, but yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, guys. Give me a like. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the stuff I'm going to be working on and any comments please drop them down below love to hear people's thoughts on this and yeah that's it so until next one bye now